Welcome. In this training, I'll be showing you how the divide by zero error comes about when you're working with Excel formulas and how you can handle such errors. I'll be illustrating it using the data we have right here. I have sales in this column, profit in this column, and profit percentage. And to arrive at the profit percentage, I will divide profit by sales, right? So I'll input the formula equal to profit divided by sales. And here we go. So this is the, uh, the result for this particular cell. Now I'll use the auto fill to fill downwards or flash fill as the case may be. So you notice that I have this error divided by zero and it pops up where the profit is divided by an empty cell or a cell with zero. Here the cell is zero, the content is zero, while here is an empty cell. You can see on our formula tab, there is nothing in the cell, right? So this, this error pops up when you're dividing a value by zero or an empty cell. There are two ways you can handle this. First is to input a value in this cell if there is a value that needs to be inputted. So you input a value. So if I input 60,000 here, immediately the error is handled, right? So the second method you can handle this error is to wrap this formula in an if function. So to do that, I'll start, I'll input an if function, function that is if this sales is equals to zero, just leave it empty. But if it's not, you can go ahead and divide profit by sales. Enter. Good. So I will now use the fill to fill down what's good. Now you can see, let me put, let me input zero here. So you see, you see that our formula, if the sales is equal to zero, just leave it empty. But if it's not zero, you can divide the profit by the sales. That's why where you see zero, the output will be empty. Where you see zero, the output will be empty. So instead of the divide by zero error, you will see an empty cell. So that's the second method you can use to handle the divide by zero error. So that's how you go about handling the divide by zero error in Excel. So this brings us to the end of this lesson. Do well to like, to share, and to subscribe to this channel. I'll see you in the next lesson. Bye for now.